everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar by IAC Acoustics. Today we're going to talk about architectural enclosures, specifically the AccuTune 2 product line. My name is Andrew Pulte. I'm the sales manager at IAC Acoustics. And so today we're going to talk uh, more along the architectural side of enclosures that we are able to provide as part of our uh, suite of noise controls package uh, packages. First, a little bit about IAC. We are part of the Catalyst Acoustics Group. They are our, our parent company. Um, we have a huge variety of noise control products um, to accommodate a lot of different applications here you can see on the left. We, we actually started way back in 1949 um, in the Bronx by Martin Hershorn. Currently, we're in the Chicago area. Uh, our, our factory and offices are all um, located there, and it's a, a really nice central location for, for quick freight and shipping to most parts of the country. Um, today, we're going to talk about um, some of the uh, competitive advantages we have. Uh, we, we control a lot of what we do uh, as far as manufacturing for doors, uh, windows, and, and panels all in-house at our factory. We have the ability to provide in-house powder coating. We are able to, um, we're able to manufacture our doors and, and our panels all in-house with our, uh, at our assembly lines. We can provide, uh, especially for the noise lock door systems, uh, fully assembled units, including the frames. So all of the, uh, the doors are, are pre-hung at our factory with the frames before they even get shipped out to make sure that everything fit and function is, is uh, up, to, up to our specifications. We do have some systems for, <clears throat> for panels and for doors that have UL listed ratings for both fire and electrical. Um, so all of our embedded uh, electrical outlets and, and switches and, and lighting wiring systems are UL rated for electrical. And we do have fire rated systems as well. Um, our, our doors, for example, can contain UL fire ratings up to three hours long. So a little bit about the practice rooms, our Accutone 2 music practice, or our MPRs, as, as they're abbreviated as. We, we do supply a, uh, a large list of uh, different MPR systems, depending on what your specific requirements are. There are no exposed fasteners, so we have uh, some special steel detail that we provide um, to make sure that there's no fasteners on the inside of the enclosure, so you get a nice, sleek, smooth look. We can paint it in any color, as, as the uh, slogan says, any size, any shape, and any color. Typically, they are rectangular rooms, um, but they're not necessarily limited to that. We do have the ability to manufacture different, um, different types of panels, different types of connection details, so that way we can um, supply pretty much any, any need that you might have in, in any shape, size, and with the, uh, the ability to do in-house powder coating, we can provide any color as well. Some of our standard models or our classic music practice rooms, the 40 MPR series is a very, very popular one. That has a single wall construction. Typically, there's one door and, and one or two windows and some uh, outlets or, or jack panels for headphones and USB um, connections and other, other electronic connections uh, through the walls. The 800 MPR series has a single wall construction, but it has an enhancement package in that single wall, uh, which we'll get into a little bit later. And then the 120 MPR series, that's our double wall construction. So it's essentially a, a room within a room both of these rooms are isolated from another, one another to provide maximum sound transmission loss and, and noise reduction from the outside to the inside of these rooms. The 40 MPR series, as I said, is a single wall construction. Um, there are a variety of standard sizes that we offer uh, from three by four foot small ones up to 11 foot by 10 feet, although they can be made to fit any size or space. We have control over the, the panel size and selection um, as we do manufacture in-house. So it's, it's, um, it's very easy for us to be able to manufacture any size that you might need. 
they offer a field performance or NIC value of 50. Um, the walls are only four inches thick, and the total the total panel width or or thickness is is four inches. So it's a very small profile with a very high sound transmission loss or, or very high level of noise reduction. And uh, typically they contain one STC 51 door. Um, standard size person door, three foot wide by seven foot tall, clear opening. There is an option for a uh, one inch enhancement package. Um, so that brings the total wall thickness to five inches and that improves the noise reduction slightly from NIC 50 to NIC 53. The 800 MPR series is also a single wall construction. There are 10 different standard sizes that, that we often provide from uh, five by sevens all the way up to 11 foot wide by 10 feet um, and they offer an NIC 60 rating so it has a higher amount of sound reduction compared to the um, standard single wall construction and that's due to this additional four inch enhancement package. With the four inch enhancement package that brings the total um, wall thickness to eight inches they are uh, metal liner panels with uh, fabric wrap panels and, and chair rails. Um, and that also includes one STC 61 person door as well and a window. The 120 MPR series has five different standard sizes from five and a half feet by six foot four all the way up to 11 foot 10 inches by 11 foot four inches. And this has our highest sound transmission loss or, or noise reduction from the outside to the inside of the room of NIC 70. So as I mentioned, it's it's a room within a room. So there's two four inch panel walls for the uh, walls and ceiling. And then in between, there's a four inch airspace. So it is isolated from more than one another. The, the inner and outer enclosure are completely separated from each other structurally. There are two doors with this, one on the outside that swings outward, and then one on the inside that swings inward. We do have the ability to provide a double out swinging tandem door. Um, there's a little bit of uh, restriction on the amount of swing that you can have. You can only get up to uh, a little under 90 degrees to, of, of open swing, um, but that is an option if, if space is an issue on the inside. This performance chart shows the uh, noise reduction of each one of our systems per octave band. Uh, so you can see starting around the bottom, you have our 40 series, the green and the uh, orange show the 40 series, and then the 40 series with a one inch enhancement package. The 800 series single wall with the additional four inch treatment um, is the red curve here. So that's the eight inch thick wall panel system. And then our double wall system, the 120 series, has the highest amount of sound transmission loss because of the isolation and separation of both rooms. So we're able to offer a, a pretty good range of products from NIC 50 all the way up to NIC 70. The ACT series systems, um, there's a few different models that we provide here as well. These are bigger than your standard music pack practice rooms. They're, they're typically suites. Um, so oftentimes they're uh, two room packages that provide a large amount of sound reduction. Construction is very similar to the MPR series, but um, there's a little bit of difference in the construction and, and layout of these systems because there's two, two rooms in each one. And uh, starting with the 40 ACT series, this one's probably the most straightforward one. It's essentially two different rooms, separate from one another, but um, but still ha the, the windows are lined up with one another. Um, so you can see this is single wall construction for the control room and also for the live room. So with that single wall construction, you get the NIC 50 rating as well on that. Um, so a lot of similarities between the single wall construction for the MPR series, just essentially two, two of them of different sizes together. Then we get into the 800 HCT series. So in, in this case, the control room is still single wall, but now the, uh, the live room has the 
four inch additional enhancement package on it. So this live room is an, uh, an additional four inch thick wall or uh, lining. So the total wall thickness is eight inches. And this includes an STC 61 door where the control room has an STC 51 door. There is an option to share the walls between the control room and the live room as well. Um, and that, that helps uh, reduce costs a little bit. Um, there, and so instead of having two walls that separate the control and the live room, you only have one. So uh, obviously there, there are some acoustic benefits to have them separate as shown in the diagram, but um, if, if cost tends to be an issue, then we can reduce that by uh, saving a little bit on the materials and having them share one wall. There's a few standard sizes of the 120 ACT series. Um, this one, now you start getting into this double wall construction. So this is very similar to the uh, previous 40 ACT series. The, uh, the only change really is the addition of a larger outer shell that covers both rooms. So essentially you have double wall construction between the control and the live room. And then you also have two walls between the inside of the rooms and the outside uh, for, for other no various noises. And similarly to the NPR series double wall rooms, you get an NIC 70 performance. And the total wall thickness, again, you have the, the two individual four inch panels, wall panels, and then a four inch airspace. So your total thickness is 12 inches for, for both of these. Now for the 140 ACT series, um, the control room, if, if there's not a whole lot of noise on the outside of the control room and single wall is sufficient, then um, we can go with the 140 series. Uh, if, if a live room needs to have a lot of noise reduction for, for loud instruments or, or something, then you can go with the double wall construction. And again, the control room has an NIC 50 performance and the live room is NIC 70. Now the 160 series is a little bit different. It's uh, kind of unique here because the control room is still single wall, but the live room is, is a double wall construction now. And with that, then you actually end up getting three different walls in between the control room and the live room. So this really maximizes the amount of sound reduction between the two spaces. Um, now, if you, you potentially can have some flanking pass on the outside of both of these rooms. Uh, but typically this is used when you have very loud equipment or, or a very loud room or, or you need a very low background noise in the live room. And again, NIC 70 performance in this live, live room. The standard heights that are offered for all of these rooms are either uh, 8 feet or 10 feet, although those are adjustable. They can vary. Uh, as well, since again, we have control over how we uh, manufacture and, and process these modular systems. Um, so you can make them shorter, you can make them taller, um, just to something to keep in mind, if they do need to be over 12 feet long, uh, tall, then the panels end up being double stacked. Um, so it's not an issue, it's just something to keep in mind if, if a very tall enclosure is needed. But again, most commonly, uh, eight feet and 10 feet tall is sufficient. And you can see that these systems also have, uh, in the images, they have in floor panels as well. Um, and typically these, if, a, if an enclosure is going to have a floor panel, then it will be isolated. There'll, there'll be vibration isolation to uh, essentially isolate the entire room from the rest of the building that, that it goes into. Now a little bit more about the uh, enhancement package. Um, typically the enhancement package includes wall-to-wall -wall, you know, ceiling to floor, uh, acoustic treatment, wall panels. Um, there's a variety of different types of fabric and, and colors and styles for the wall panels and, and carpet is, is another one as well. And then the um, floor panels themselves typically are provided and the, the carpet uh, can be something different than what's on the chart here. We just need to know what, what that might be if, if um, aesthetics is really important and you need to match. We can certainly do that. A few things to consider with the 
different options. Uh, there, there's a pretty, pretty big range of, of options available. Um, you know, we, we frequently partner with acoustic consultants in trying to understand what specific package might work best for, for individual needs. And oftentimes that requires a site visit or, or field measurements. Um, so that's something that's, that's available with, uh, you know, us partnering with some uh, consultants to be able to do that. NIC 50 is about the baseline that, that we would do for single wall construction. And that would be for the, 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 those are typical performance measurements for the whole system. So the moduline walls and the Accutone 2, Accutone 2 panel system with, with the doors and any windows that the whole system provides an, an IC50 result. Space constraints are often the most common uh, common restriction that we have to work with. And uh, again, like you can see here, some of the um, individual pieces and panels are, are provided. Uh, other than supplying an entire system, um, we can supply just windows or just doors or a combination of the two. Um, there's there's a, a pretty good range uh, or a la carte ver varieties of, of options available here. And some of these noise lock doors you can see in the image here are kind of neat because we, we are able to apply wood veneer on the on the sides as well on all the panels um, so if there's some certain style or, or wood type that needs to be matched you know we, we have a lot of different wood veneer options that are available to uh, to supply for for matching the already existing aesthetic conditions and for electrical requirements uh, we have the ability to include wiring and outlets embedded into our wall and ceiling panels. So if you need a, a bunch of outlets or, or light switches, you can get this nice, uh, you can still provide a nice smooth sleek look. So you don't have um, outlets and conduits sticking out of the walls. We can include the electrical inside the wall and ceiling panels. And uh, as far as lighting goes, typically we supply LED lighting, um, a variety of different versions. There's, you know, standard overhead LED lights. You can do um, more architecturally pleasing um, drop lights, pendant lights, like you can see in the image here, are available as well. Aside from the standard duplex outlet, you know, we can provide quad quad receptacles as well, um, or even just empty boxes if there's some additional electrical that need to be done after the fact for whatever reason, USB connections or Ethernet lines or telephone, um, any of that, we can supply just empty empty boxes with conduits uh, for electrical treatment later. Um, patch panels are always an option as well. Uh, we, we can include uh, up to 12 quarter inch jacks in, in some of our standard panels. Um, there's There's a huge range of options there though there, there's a lot of different uh, customizable features for the patch panels uh, lot, lots of different uh, versions um, typically we see the headphone jacks as the most common one but there's a lot of different pass-throughs that are available this is a case study that we did for the jewish braille institute um, they wanted six different voiceover booths and, and images of some of those booths you can see in the in the pictures above towards the top of the slide. They had some requests for oversized windows, and we were able to we were able to accommodate that. Um, and noise lock door package as well. They needed full ceiling to floor height uh, fabric panels, and we were able to accommodate that. Um, so it gave a nice, smooth, clean look on on the inside. Of the enclosure and the large oversized windows really helped um, with access into the rooms. Another case study was for KMA Music Studios in Times Square and uh, as you can imagine space was a really big issue there at Times Square uh, but again we're able to provide some customized fabric rack panels as well as a full glass IAC noise lock door. And I, one of the most interesting projects that we've had in, in recent history is a sphere. So there was a request from Comcast at their world headquarters to do a uh, 
spherical noise enclosure. Uh, ended up being a movie theater where they could play a, play a movie inside of this big spherical enclosure, uh, right in the middle of their very large, very uh, reverberant um, space at their in their lobby. And so, what we did is we manufactured our panel systems in these trapezoidal shapes, and ended up creating this spherical system with cu some custom joining steel. Uh, ended up with a very, very um, high sound transmission loss system. And you can see here on the outer shell, so this outer shell is actually just a, a shell with some LED lighting. Uh, wasn't doing much for the, the noise reduction. Um, so our noise reduction panels are kind of on the inside of this shell. Um, and you can see that the uh, on the right side there, that was sort of the project under construction. Um, but we were able to meet this requirement. They had a STC 64 emergency hatch door. Um, and we were able to meet all of the acoustic requirements for this project. This kind of shows some of the design and, and manufacturing capability that we have here at IAC. We're able to do the uh, design, the assembly, and uh, manufacturing kind of all in one turnkey system. Uh, we're, we're able to match just about any acoustic challenge you could throw. So um, there's just a rear showing the custom panel details. Um, all of those panels in green are, are ones that we provided um, right from our factory. And then that's the final product. That's all the slides I have today. I really appreciate everyone's time today. And if you have any questions or, or comments, if you'd like to reach out, please feel free to do so. A Pulte at IACacoustics.com. And again, I thank you everyone for your time today. Uh -huh.